Red Excel Corpure Calculus 3 Inverse Trigonometric Functions Integrating using Arc Tan X We've already seen that the derivative of the inverse function Arc Tan X can be written as 1 over 1 plus X squared and in the more general case that the derivative of Arc Tan X over A can be written as A over A squared plus x squared. However, what happens if we start to look at integrating using arctan? So if we take this result and we integrate both sides with respect to x, so if I integrate the right hand side with respect to x it will become the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx and if I integrate the derivative of arc tan x, then I will be left with arc tan x plus c. And if we look at the more general case, again, I'm going to integrate both sides with respect to x. So integrating the right hand side first, this will become the integral of a over a squared plus x squared dx and if I integrate the derivative of arc tan x we will get arc tan x over a and this is normally written in the form if we divide both sides by a this would normally be written as the integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared with respect to x is 1 over a arc tan x over a and don't forget the constant of integration that would be the normal way of writing it so that is the fairly standard result the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared is arc tan x and be careful with this result that we've gained here, the integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx has a 1 over a in front of the arc tan x over a term. So in this example we need to integrate 1 over 16 plus x squared dx and it's very important to avoid any confusion that we get it in the correct form before we start. For example I would write 16 as 4 squared before we start. So we've got it in the appropriate form. It's worth making a note that a is 4 and then we can quote our result. So the integral of 1 over 4 squared plus x squared with respect to x will be 1 over 4, that's the 1 over a term, and then it will be arc tan x over 4, the x over a. Don't forget the plus c and there is a nice quick way of integrating 1 over 16 plus x squared dx. So the thing to remember is to get it in the appropriate form. Check that you've got a coefficient of 1 in front of the x squared. Rewrite 16 as 4 squared and also just check that it is 1 in the numerator as well. Sometimes there may be a 2, 3 or a different number there other than 1. Make sure you identify what a is before you quote the result and don't forget there's a 1 over a term in front of the arctan x over a. So this example is going to be a little bit trickier because we can see the coefficient of x squared is 3. So the first thing I would do would be to rewrite this by pulling out 3 as a common factor in that denominator. And I would bring the third outside the integral. So I've got a third of the integral of 1 over 16 thirds plus x squared. So we've achieved a coefficient of 1 in front of the x squared but just to make sure we don't make any silly little mistakes I'm going to rewrite this 16 over 3. 
So I'm going for a third of the integral of 1 over, don't forget dx on the integral. Um, I'm going to write 16 over 3 as 4 over root 3 squared plus x squared dx. So I've got everything where I need it. I've got 1 in the numerator. I've got a coefficient of 1 in front of the x squared. And I can now identify that a in this question is 4 over root 3. A is a fraction, so be, be careful when you come to write the answer now. So, mustn't lose the third, so I'm going to put a third outside the bracket. So now we need a 1 over A, so that's a 1 over, I'm just going to keep it simple for now, I'll rewrite it in a moment. So there's 1 over A arc tan x over A plus C. There's an extra close bracket there. And we can simplify this. Um, 1 over 4 over root 3 is 3 over 4. If you times the top and the bottom by root 3, it becomes th root 3 over 4. And then when I times by the third, it's root 3 over 12. Arc, tan, and again here, x over 4 over root 3, if you times the top and the bottom by root 3, it can be written nice and neatly as 3 over 4x plus c. So there is our nice, neat answer to that integral. So the things to look out for in this problem were it wasn't quite the standard integral, so we had to deal with that 3x squared, and we dealt with that by pulling out a third, so we're left with just 1x squared. Then we need to identify exactly what a is, so a is 4 over root 3, and then we can go to the answer, not forgetting the third as well, so there's a third, there's the 1 over a, and this term here is the x over a, which will give us the correct value for the integral. So we can now quote this standard result. The integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared with respect to x is 1 over a arctan x over a. And the things to look out for are the 1x squared. Identify what a is. Just check there is a 1 in the numerator as well. And notice that there's a 1 over a in the result. If the coefficient of x squared is not 1, then you need to pull out a factor from that denominator in order to just get 1x squared before quoting the result. And that brings us to the end of inverse trigonometric functions.